Hi, this is Sherman Nelson with USA Taekwondo. I have two of our exemplary young athletes and our referee chairman, and we want to go over some of the rules um, and some of the changes that have taken place in the deduction penalties that are given um, for infractions committed during the, during the match. We have Kobe Wee, we have Ethan Robinson, and we have our referee chairperson, Master Sung Won Kim. Now, um, guys, before we get into this, are you guys on social media? How can we find you on social media? Uh, I'm on Instagram, Kobe underscore we. Spelled we U-Y. U-Y, all right. And I'm on Instagram, one kick, 10K, as Bruce Lee's quotes. You already know how it is. All right. And our referee chairman is Mr. Excitement. He's not on, we're not letting him be on social media, even though he is. No, so you're on Facebook? Yes, sir. All right, you're on Facebook as? Sungwon Ace Kim. Sungwon Ace Kim, all right. You, I am on Facebook as Sherman Nelson. I'm on Instagram as Mr. Possible DV, DMV. Um, you can find me on Twitter as Mr. Possible DMV. All right, so these guys are going to show you what to do and what not to do when you're sparring. All right, what we're seeing now is what happens if you kick your opponent below the hogu, below the chest guard. You receive the gumption penalty for kicking the leg. All right. You see the referee will motion with the hand down, indicating an attack to the lower extremity. Now, if an athlete lifts his leg, his cut kick lower than the hogu, you have to immediately follow that lift with a subsequent technique. If you do not follow that with another technique, with an attempt to score, you will receive the gamcham penalty. The red player attacked with a cut kick higher than the hogu, which is allowable. The blue player responded with a cut kick that was lower than the hogu, which, as we said, is not allowed, which is why he received the gamcham penalty. Again, which is signified with the crossed arms. The blue player lifted the cut kick lower than the hogu, but immediately followed it with a technique, which is allowable. As long as a technique immediately follows that technique, you are able to follow up without receiving a gamchum penalty. Red player pushed while the blue player was attempting a technique. Because he pushed while the blue player was attempting the technique, he received the gamchum penalty for pushing, and the blue player did not receive the gamchum penalty for falling. In a clinch, the blue player pushed to create space. The red player fell. He received the gamjum penalty for falling. Again, he receives this gamjum penalty because he was not attempting a technique. Now, that, that varies when we get to the boundary. The blue player created space by pushing the opponent, but he pushed him out of bounds, which results in a gamjum penalty which is indicated by thrusting the hands forward for the pushing motion. Red player does a back kick. Blue player counters with a cut kick to the butt, which is lower than the hogu or the chest guard. This results in the blue player receiving a gamjum penalty. Again, the referee signifies we're kicking low. Blue player lands a cut kick on the chest guard. The red player slides back out or is forced back out of bounds. The red player still receives the gamjum penalty for going outside of the boundary. That deduction is illustrated by the flipping of the hand. Red player delivers a cut kick to the hogu. Blue player falls. He receives the falling penalty because he was kicked in a legal scoring area and fell. In a clinch, blue player delivers a hand technique to the face or to the head or anywhere above the collarbone. He, the blue player receives the gumption penalty for striking the face. In a clinch, the blue player grabs the red player's chest guard. He receives the gumption penalty for grabbing. Blue player delivers a cut kick, which is a legal technique but attempts to kick a fallen opponent and kicking a fallen opponent is a gamjum penalty Hello. 
So even if an athlete lifts his leg for the cut kick and it's above the hogu and it's an acceptable height, you still have a maximum of three seconds to have your foot off the ground before you receive the kamjum penalty. Blue player receives a gumption penalty for avoiding the match, which is signified by the fists. Now the blue player receives a, a gumption penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct, taunting or goading another opponent, which we must note is not the way Mr. Robinson, Ethan Robinson, the blue player, carries himself. Here we have an irate coach who has gotten out of the one meter coaching square, he receives for his player a gumjum penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct. And then he attacks. Perhaps this young man has been worked too hard and now he's having a fit. This, we hope, helps you understand some of the rule modifications um, that are in play as of 2017. As always, we strive to make sure that you completely understand the field of play so that you can give your very best in the field of play.